What's up, Rare Moment fam? Welcome back to the show. I am AG. This is Cole. We are the Rare Moment. The boys are back in town here today. Finally got both of us on screen. Excited to get back to some content with you guys. Uh, we're going to go over what Cole's been buying lately. He's been on a big shopping spree. Just want to kind of go over what, what he's been purchasing and uh, and why. So before we get into it, you guys know what to do right now. Smash that freaking like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter at the rare moment. When you're on the go, find us on Spotify. Comment section down below. Let us know where you're at in your journey right now. You guys buying, you just you've already bought, you're waiting for the season to start. We're talking NFL all day here. So let us know how you're feeling about it, and we'll get into it down below. Cole, let's get into it here today, bud. I know you've been on this big buying spree. Uh, you have some uh, reasons for these players you've been buying. So without further ado, the floor is yours, my friend. As always, let's preface this by saying this is not financial advice. <laughs> this is just what I've been buying. You make your own decisions, please, and thank you. All right. So with that being said, the moments that I've been buying, I have been basing my decisions off of Own the Moments Rumble fantasy game that's going to be coming out this NFL season. You're going to be able to use your NFL all day moments to try and win some prizes on their website. I'm really looking forward to that using NFL all day moments as utility. So that's, that's where my decisions have been coming from. So we had a top five video for under $25, I believe a few weeks ago where each of us gave our top five picks at that time. Yep. So I went ahead and uh, bought one of each of those guys. So I'm not a hypocrite. I bought a Kenny Galladay, a Marquez Valdez-Scantling, a Josh Palmer, a Gabriel Davis, and a DeAndre Swift. And then after that, picked myself up a Cam. Nice 251. That's not for Rumble. That's just for the Panthers team set for Series 1. Also my favorite player of all time, so that was a no-brainer. Got Stephon Diggs there. Bills, high-octane offense, number one target. And then Gabriel Davis as a number two. So I got to get myself a Josh Allen, get that nice little double stack going there. Got Clyde Edwards, a lair, two Russell Gages, another Gabriel Davis. a And also, as you'll notice too, as we continue to go up the screen here and look at other moments, I was focusing on the best cereal I could get. I was paying a few extra dollars up from the floor to try and get those better cereals because those are going to be tiebreakers in the rumble fantasy game so if you have the same amount of points as somebody else if you have a better cereal than that person that's going to be your tiebreaker that's how you're going to win those matchups so yeah, some low cereals here 548 441 yep, got a nice triple digit dj Moore, a little christian kirk yep for the jags going to be the number one option there he got paid some big bucks Man, i expect I, some big spike weeks for him i had Pittman jr last year in season long and i am all over him again this year as yeah, well I'm very he, high is, on him. he is primed for a big year here yeah going from carson wentz to matt ryan even at matt ryan's current age i think is a big upgrade nice another triple digit panther brian burns little cd lamb i wish i could have got a better cereal on cd lamb but he was already kind of expensive as it is yep but i think he could have a a monster, monster. season if he monster. stays healthy absolutely darnell mooney i've been very high on too i know a lot of people are not high on the bears in general but i really like his upside and his potential target share that he could get from justin field so nice triple digit there you think he's Devin the number Singletary. one out there right so yeah he's the number one He's the number right. one. So he's going to get peppered with targets. So he got like 130 last year. So he's going to get a lot more this yeah, year. Singletary, a lot of people seem to be kind of high. Maybe it's just Bills fans, but a lot of people kind of high on Singletary for some reason. And I, I, am I just missing something on that? Or Well, I actually think it's the opposite. If you watch any sort of fantasy content related to best ball or just season long, I mean, a lot of people are hyping up James Cook, who they mm. drafted in the second round, I believe, this year. So Singletary has kind of been the afterthought, but I think Singletary is still the number one back there unquestioned. And I think in that type of offense, if you're the number one back with Josh Allen on your team, you got some uh, spike weeks coming your way this yeah. season. Another Clyde Edwards Alaire. See, Clyde Edwards Alaire, another guy like Singletary where everybody's just kind of written him off. And I mean, this guy, the first round pick a couple years ago, 
maybe he turns out to just not be that very good at the NFL level, but number one running back on a Chiefs offense with Patrick Mahomes as his quarterback. I don't know. So, so this just seems like something where we're going to look back on at the end of the season for people who weren't high on him and go, why weren't we higher on the number one starting running back on the Kansas City Chiefs offense? That, well, I, I want to ask you this here before we, we get it more, scroll more up here. I've, I've noticed a trend here. You've you got multiple of certain players, multiple Clyde Edwards, Alaire, multiple yep. Russell Gages. What's the strategy behind that for the users here? Yeah, so those guys are just, I would say those are guys I'm just a little bit higher on compared to other players, but also these guys were a little bit cheaper. So like Clyde Edwards Alaire, right? I got a couple of his moments for eight, nine, ten dollars a pop. Russell Gage, same thing, nine, ten dollars a pop. Whereas, you know, C D Lamb down here, I think he's gonna have a monster season, but his moment was like 32, 33 bucks. Right. And you know, some of these other guys, like Michael Pittman was another guy who was kind of up there, 28, 29 bucks. DJ Moore was like 26, 27. So those guys, I like DJ Moore, Pittman, Lamb, I am personally higher on than like an Elaire or a Gage. But because of their price points, I decided to pick up extras of guys like Elaire and Gage. So hopefully that answers the question out there. Well, well, I mean, are you going to sell that? Like, like just to oh, sell yeah. during the season? Is that yeah. what? You yeah. Know, so if, if those here? guys have big weeks, I would uh, probably sell one or two of them. Right. If their price goes up and then just hold on to one of them if they are having a good season. And then obviously just use those moments in the rumble game. So sure. Okay. And then moving up here. Got another triple digit here. Isaiah McKenzie looking like he's going to be the number three receiver over Jamison Crowder in that Bills offense. If anything happens to Stephon Diggs or Gabriel Davis, I don't know. I think that moment is going to go up in value. So holding on to that one. Kenny Galladay, a little nice Mark Andrews. I got a few triple digit tight ends, which I'm kind of excited about. I think the tight ends are a little bit undervalued right now. Uh, they've come up a little bit, but I think as a whole, they're kind of undervalued. But I think as people start to realize there's only a few elite tight ends, th these prices are going to come up on guys like Andrews, Kelsey, Kittle, Waller, Knox, etc. And Tyus Bowser. So you're going to see a few quote unquote random defensive guys in my collection with pretty decent serials. And we're going to actually get into that why i've been doing that in our next video a little strategy video so stay tuned for that nice another triple digit panther Derek brown again another triple digit defensive player levi wallace triple digit Devonte parker triple digit robbie anderson little kyle pitts pierre desir kj osborne again the mooth yeah the mooth nice cereal there kj osborne i mean if anything happens to jefferson or thielen He's going to slide into that number two role. He's already the number three. They just got the Rams OC as their new coach. Looks like on paper they're going to be passing more, so maybe some potential spike weeks for K.J. Osborne. Who knows? Who knows what's going on with Dalvin Cook down there? Yep, exactly. Joe Mixon, another good player there. James Robinson, I know everybody is all horned up on Travis Etienne, <laughs> and probably for good reason. He seems like a very special back, and – is probably going to be the lead back here. But James Robinson, I, I get he's coming off an Achilles injury. You know, he doesn't really have ties. He wasn't drafted. He, well, he was an undrafted guy, but he has no ties to this current front office uh, makeup that they have in Jacksonville. So, you know, they could easily move on with him and, you know, not look back or think twice about it. But I think he's got some, some game to him and nice little triple digit. And if anything happens to ETN again, if he gets hurt again, right. Robinson's moment, I would believe, is going to go up in value. So, and again, like you're talking about, I got multiple Elaires. There's another triple digit Elaire, nice little triple digit cup, nice Kelsey. And I went on a little bit of a Cortland Sutton uh, buying spree, yeah. mini buying spree. Three he triple is. digit Suttons. He's another guy. Uh, Russell Wilson coming over from right. Seattle huge quarterback upgrade from the mess that is drew lock so right uh, on paper i gotta believe he's gonna have a unbelievable season and unfortunately you never like to see injury but tim patrick right. gone for the year torn acl before the season can even start so 
even more targets heading Sutton's way. Well, Sutton has had heading Sutton had Judy some Sutton well. had some good games last year, even with the pretty poor quarterback. So yeah, you, you got to figure. Yeah, you got to figure. You know, Jerry Judy gets those targets, but don't sleep on Sutton this year. That's for sure. Yep. And then another triple digit tight end here in George Kittle. Nice little triple digit Higgins. I got to get myself a Chase in a Burrow and yeah. complete that little mini double stack. And I yeah. got a triple digit Ashawn Robinson and then Zay Jones. Uh, when did I get? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I bought him for the challenge. I was like, right, right. Why, why did I buy Zay Jones? Yeah, yeah I was I gonna say, what's Zay challenge? Jones doing in the collection here? <laughs> yeah. Zay Jones, dude. I mean, number two option in Jacksonville. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what it's been looking like up to sixty moments right now. Again, heavy emphasis as of this recording on the on the moment Rumble fantasy game that's going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So really looking forward to that. Looking forward to trying to make some money in there i don't have any rare moments so i don't have any moments that i can use for that hero slot where you can earn that 1.25x points so it could be at a little disadvantage there but hopefully i can make up with it with what i believe to be the best plays of that week based off what i have in my collection and also by the fairly low serials that i have for most of those moments that you just saw and obviously there is a buttload more of players that i could add to my collection I got to start getting some quarterbacks, but I'm running out of funds here. I mean, I've been buying so much of these guys, so I'm sure you guys will leave in the comments how many other players I've been missing. But keep in mind, I don't have unlimited funds as much as I would like to just buy everybody to cover every possibility. Right. Well, that's what Cole's been buying. Let you in on the little bag right there. Uh, let us know what you guys thought about this video. Let us know if there's any sleepers you guys got in your bag. You know, are, do you guys plan to play this Rumble game from Own the Moment? You going to take a look at it. What are you guys buying moments for? What's your guys' strategy? Comment section down below. Let us know. We love to get into it with you guys. We love to talk strategy. You guys know that. So keep your eye out for some more content coming up soon. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We love you guys. We're happy to be back. Finally, both of us on screen here. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. We'll catch you guys soon. As always. Good luck collecting out there, everybody. See you in the next one. Peace.